بر محمد و اهل بیت محمد صلوات بلند خاطر فرمایی باز هم خوشنودی ارواح مؤمنین و مؤمنات بلخص ارواح گذشتگان خودتان صلوات دوم را جلیتر خاطر فرمایی اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم و به نستعین السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته با تقدیم عرض سلام و عرض ادب تشریف آوری شما خواهران و برادران و نور چشمی های عزیز را و عزیزانی که ما را از صفحات مجازی بیننده هستند به جامعه اسلامی افغان های کانادا خیر مقدم گفته از خداوند منان طول عمر موفقیت و سلامتی برای همه عزیزان مسئلت داریم جلوگر آغاز شب 23 ماه مبارک رمضان تلاوت آیات چند از کلام الله مجید با صدای برادر محترم حاج آقای حمید زرابی به شرط اینکه بر محمد و اهل بیت محمد صلوات دیگر را بلندتر خط فرمایید برای قبولی طاعت و آمرزش اموات صلوات بلندی ختم بفرمایید بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا توبوا إلى جنات 
ونجني من القوم الظالمين ومريم بنت عمران التي أحصنت فرجها فنفخنا فيه من روحنا وصدقت بكلمات ربها وكتبه وكانت صدق الله العلي العظيم از قرآت زیبای تلاوت آیات کلام الله مجید توسط برادر عزیزم حاج آقای زرابی تشکر نموده موفقیت های هرچی بیشتر ایشان و همچنان برادر بزرگوارم جناب حاج آقای صادق تاهیری را در جهت آموزش قرآن عظیم و شان به نور چشمی های جامعه اسلامی از قادر بی زوال استدعا دارم اطلاعیه داریم از بخش کودکستان جامعه اسلامی کودکستان جامعه اسلامی در خدمت فامیل های محترم هست اطفال بین سنین سه الى شش سال را می توانند به کودکستان برده و رجستر نمایند در این قسمت برنامه امشب از برادر عزیزم آقای میلاد سلطانی از بخش جوانان جامعه اسلامی سمیمانه خواهش میکنیم تشریف آورده و سخندان بخش انگلیسی را معرفی بدارند باز هم بر محمد و اهل بیت محمد سلوات دیگر را بلندتر خرف Assalamu alaikum respected scholars, elders, brothers and sisters. On behalf of ACE, we would like to welcome you to the seventh night of our Ramadan lecture series. Tonight is the third night of Laylatul Qadr and it's one of the most important nights of this month and this year. Let's use this night as a night of self-reflection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as a night of pray and as a night to pray for all of our Muslim brothers and sisters around the world who are struggling with food and shelter during this blessed month. Before we begin our program, I would like to remind you all that tonight is the last night of our Quran Tafsir classes, which will commence after Iftar in the Ace Room. <coughs> and the Tafsir test will be on April 4th, inshallah. Recordings for the Tafsir classes are available in our Instagram bio. Our game night and Sahari program will be held this Saturday, April 6th, at 11 p.m. You can register at tinyurl.com slash game night and sahari. Spots for the activities are limited, so be sure to grab your tickets now. 
For more, for more updates about our events and our initiatives, we encourage you to head over to our Instagram, at ACE Online. This evening, we are honored to be joined once again by Sheikh Mustafa Akhund. Please recite a loud salawat as we welcome, as we welcome him to the stage. If I may ask the brothers, please, the ones that are sitting by the wall, if you don't have to, please move forward. Brothers, please as move, forward, uh, move forward as much as you can, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thumma salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen. Habibi ilahi al-alameen abil qasim al-Mustafa Muhammad. وعلى أهل بيت الطاهرين الذين أذهب الله عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد قال الله الحكيم في محكم كتاب الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما كان الله معذبهم وهم يستغفرون we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this year the year of the reappearance of our beloved Imam Mahdi Ajallah ta'ala Faraju Shari with the blessing of another loud salawat. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst his companions and his sincere soldiers with the blessing of another loud salawat. Be so happy tonight and be proud of yourself and be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are in the right place, right moment, right scenario. Everything is coming together for you to start new. Be really, really grateful. All of us, we must be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we came and we are sitting in a gathering where the verse of the Holy Quran and the ahadith of Ahl Bayt will be addressed. Imam said, when you sit together, like us right now, we're all sitting together. I'm just there's a stage and I'm a little bit higher so you can see me. If not, we're all sitting together. We're all learning from one another. Imam said, when you sit together and you talk about our affairs, you talk about Quran, a hadith of Ahl al-Bayt, a fragrance will come out of this gathering. I, as Imam al-Sadiq, I love this fragrance. Whatever has happened past is past. Today, tonight, the night of 23rd of the holy month of Ramadan, one of the, if not the most important night that we can live through. We have to really, really appreciate it that Allah blessed us, gave us tawfiq to come and sit in this gathering. And inshallah, participating in the a'mal after iftar, say inshallah. Why tonight is very important? and the topic for tonight. We're focusing on another set of soldiers, one for intellect and one for 
ignorance. Summarizing it within 30 seconds, what we talked about in the previous nights, we talked about the importance of aql. That with our aql we'll end up in heaven. If we don't use our aql and intellect, we won't end up in heaven. Hellfire will be waiting for us. Then we talked about iman, belief, faith, to be the first soldier of intellect. And disbelief, to be the soldier of ignorance. Then we talked about shukr, being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was last night. Being grateful and appreciating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the countless blessing that he has upon us is another soldier of intellect. And being ungrateful is the soldier of ignorance. Tonight, what is the soldier of intellect that we have to strengthen this soldier? al tawbah wa dhidduha al-israr. Tawbah. Repentance. Yatub. What is tawbah? Tawbah as a U-turn. You're going on the highway. You are trying to go to, from here to go to Montreal. North. You, by accident, your phone went off. And suddenly you saw yourself, you're going south. You turn on your phone, you turn on the GPS, it will give you the first exit to take. First light left. First circle half, you make a U-turn, you have to go to north. This is called Yatubu. When you return, at tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, returning back to Allah. In this past 11 months, I might have been on the path, if I was, and I was a firm believer, believer, believer alhamdulillah, that's a blessing. But if I have gone right and left, if I have done things that have, those things have taken me away from the right path. Tonight is the night of return. Astaghfar, At-Tawbah is the soldier of intellect. Wadidduha al-Israr. Insisting on my sins that I have committed, this is the intellect of, the, the soldier of in ignorance. You and I, we have decision to make tonight. Do I want to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is there a way back to Allah? Yes. He brought you tonight and he brought me tonight to go back to him. He wants us back. He waits for us to go back. He loves it when we go back. We'll read the hadith of it. When I was preparing the lecture for tonight, because every day I prepare the lecture for that night. It's not before. Every day by day. And the hadith that I was reading, I was like, I won't be able to finish it in one night. It has to be two nights. The importance of returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not losing hope and despair. We should never lose, in Allah's, lose hope in Allah's mercy. We'll come to all of these hadith. Whatever I said was all hadith of Ahl Bayt. We'll read one after one. Because the words of Ahl Bayt salam, and the word of Quran... They are nur, they are light. This darkness that I go, that shaitan makes it dark for me. And during darkness, he takes me right and left. The word of the Holy Quran and the teachings of Ahl al-Bayt will be the light for me to return and go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So be hopeful that tonight is the night that I'm going to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I make a decision that I will stay on the path of Allah. Let's read. Surah Al-Anfar, chapter 8, verse 33. Allah says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ مُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ What chapter? 8, thank you brother. Verse 33. You guys should be, get good with numbers. I know we might not be good with math, but at least memorization should be good. Chapter 8, verse 33. Allah says, nor will Allah punish them while they plead for forgiveness. Every sin that I commit, I must be punished. Every sin deserves 
the greatest punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because I am dis disobeying the greatest being. I'm disobeying Allah. When we see, Shaykh, you know, I've read books. You'll be surprised the kind of arguments that I get. You know, I've read books. We have major sins and we have minor sins. Minor sin. Nothing. One minor sin, two minor sins, three minor sins. When we do sin, Allah writes for us minus one. I'm not a mathematician also. I'm just ideas. Minus one for every one sin that we commit. Minus one. And for every good deed that we do, right now all of us, we are sitting together reading Quran and reading the teachings of Ahl Bayt. It's all good. For every minute, Allah has given us plus ten. How merciful Allah is, we cannot imagine. Imam said, be careful. Make sure your tens are not taken over by your ones. People said, what do you mean? Tens taking over by ones. Always the tens will be more. If I do five good deeds a day, how many rewards is that? 50. Thank you. That's 50 rewards. And I committed four sins. 50 minus 4, 46. So I still am in the, in the plus. That's where shaitan comes into place. I don't see my minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. At the end of the night, I'll see, oh my God, a lot of minus 1. And only I have two good deeds plus 10. But my minuses are minus 30. And I got 20 plus. Well, I'm short. May Allah give all of our mother long life. Say, Ilahi, Ameen. My mother, may Allah give her long life. When I was a young kid, probably I was nine. I still remember. Or eight, even. She brought me and she brought my brother. It was only two of us. And my mother, she herself also did it. She took a piece of paper and she brought a red pen and a blue pen. Right now I have only black pen here, but you got the meaning. She did this for us. I still remember that moment vividly, clear, the time, the place that we were sitting. These things stays in your, our minds. Parents, this is the way you become creative in teaching them Islam. Visual. Less this, more visual. She said every night, when we come home, Mustafa, you sit, you write all of your minuses, minus this. I saw haram, minus. I said haram, minus. I heard haram, minus. I prayed my salah on time, alhamdulillah, plus 10. I read Quran, plus 10. Right. Every night, she would sit herself also, and me and my brother, younger brother, who's younger than me, also, we did it. Every night. We wrote the first night, we felt good about it. Next day, I remember I wrote, my red evil was more, and the blue was less. I still remember it. I was really, really depressed. Like, look. My mom said, okay. Good. Right now you know it. Sit and do istighfar for it. So we know. In business, as we mentioned, in business we do. How much I gained, how much I lost. This istighfar, I have to think. Shaitan comes. You do a lot of good deeds. And makes me to be neglectful and forget about my evil that I have. I don't think about myself. I see the evil of others and I see my good. We have to change the scenario. No, I have to see the evil of myself and good in people. The whole scenario needs to change. Everything I see in people, it must be good. Giving people how many benefit of doubt? 70. And to myself, I need to be very harsh. Why did you say this? Why did you see this? Why did you hear this? I have to hold myself accountable every second. Astaghfar. I was going back to it. 
How did we get to his place? As we mentioned, every sin, I deserve Allah's punishment. Major sin and minor sin, when we compare it to one another, every sin is a major sin by itself. But when I compare it to another sin, it becomes major sin or minor sin. Lying, one lie, major sin by itself. Seeing haram, one glance, haram, haram is haram, it's major because I'm sinning the creator of the universe. The greatest the being, the greatest the sin. But if I put lying next to killing, one makes it to become minor and the other one become major. But every sin by itself. So if I deserve punishment for every sin that I commit, Allah ever merciful, Allah nor will Allah punish them while they plead for forgiveness. If I don't want to receive, to receive Allah's punishment, forgiveness. Returning back to Allah, astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. Astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu ilayh. We'll go through how many times a day, how should it be done? We go through it. Please follow me. None of us are ma'soom, infallible. Anybody here can say, raise their hand and say we are sinless? No one. We all make mistakes. Some intentionally and some unintentionally. Allah says in Surah Al- in chapter 3, verse 135, Ma'idah. فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُوا الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَلَمْ يُصِرُّوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ The verse was revealed upon the Prophet, Shaytan screamed, All of my children come together. All come. What happened? Allah has sent a verse for mankind. If they apply this verse, everything that we do is in trash. What is it? This verse. Chapter 3, verse 135. And those who, when they commit an indecent act, sin, or wrong themselves. We read in Dua Kumail, Zalamto Nafsi. I read this Dua, Zalamto Nafsi means... If I take this pen right now and I start poking myself, ظلمت نفسي. If I see haram with his eyes, ظلمت نفسي. If I put this pen in my ears, ظلمت نفسي. I have wronged myself. If I listen to haram music, ظلمت نفسي. If I say something bad, ظلمت نفسي. This is all ظلمت نفسي. Allah says when they commit an indecent act on wrong themselves, Right away they remember Allah. Right away. They remember Allah and plead forgiveness for their sin. And who forgives sins except Allah? And who do not persist in what they have committed while they know. And intentionally I committed a sin right away. Astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu alayhi. La ilaha illallah. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. Right away I repent. I re- will read a hadith. Right away shaitan says we work day and night. Day and night. To smoothen the path towards sin. This is what he will do. He will smoothen the path towards sin. He puts everything to come into place. How about you come? Right now she will enter. And typical Bollywood movie. She will come. She has books in her hand. And then the book will fall on the ground. You will try to help her. You try to be a gentleman. Then eyes and eyes. Oh, seriously? And then the love relationship happens. Typical Bollywood. Allah smoothened, uh, shaitan smoothened the path to commit sin. So he said, my children, we smoothen the path for them to commit sin. We work hard. We spend money. We do everything. They commit sin. If they remember this verse, unintentionally they committed sin. If they remember this verse, chapter 3, verse 135, they remember Allah and they forgive sin. Basically everything is finished. What should we do? One said, how about we do this? It's not going to work. One said, how about this? 
one, one, one. One raised his hand. He said, this is hadith. I'm not making a Harry Potter, Harry Potter fiction story for you. Hadith. One said, I will tell them to delay asking forgiveness. Sister, why don't you wear proper hijab? Sheikh, when I go to Hajj or Karbala, when I come back, then. Who guarantees you will be alive this year, Hajj, and this year, Karbala? Brother, in your business, halal, haram, all the sins. Shaykh, Ramadan comes, night of Qadr, I will ask for forgiveness. Who guarantees you will be alive holy month of Ramadan? Who guarantees? I remember I started my lecture, be grateful to Allah that you are here tonight. This is the biggest night, the night of 23rd. We have to take advantage of every second of it. I know tomorrow, majority, if not all of you, will be working. I know. It will be difficult. Ahya, staying awake until Salat al-Subh, that's one of the amal. Even if you didn't do anything, just stay awake until Salat al-Subh and then go to sleep. Allah will forgive all of your sins tonight. I know in a couple of hours you have to go to work. I know you will be tired, you will be exhausted. I know. But this is the last. If I told you, and you received a message, a WhatsApp message from the African community, that Sheikh Mustafa will give anyone who is awake until the morning, he will give them one million dollar. Will you go to sleep? Nobody will go to sleep. No one will. It's a million dollar. Allah says, Ahadith, stay awake. Ahya Laylatul Qadr. I will forgive all of your sins. Brothers and sisters, when one commits a sin unintentionally or by mistake, whatever, right away let us remember Allah and do istighfar. Allah will forgive. But if I delay it, delay it, delay it, that delay might not come. It might not come. There were people who said, we will. Allah will forgive us in the holy month of Ramadan. Before the month of Ramadan, you know some community member, they passed away. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi. Shaitan said, yes, you are right. You will do it. Brother, ask for forgiveness. For, Shaykh, wait, first night of Ramadan. We have Layal al Qadr. Why rush? Don't insist on committing sin that you are committing your hijab, your deen, your iman, your aql, your salah, your zakat, your khums, your ha all of this. Shaykh, wait, 15th of Ramadan, birth of Imam Hassan. Birth of Imam Hassan comes. Come on, let's come, let's go to the masjid. Layal al Qadr, Shaykh, wait. Allah, Arham al Rahameen. Layal al Qadr, where are you? You know, Shaykh, busy tomorrow. Sheikh, I've heard hadith that the night of Eid al-Fitr also Allah will forgive. Wait, Eid al-Fitr! Eid al-Fitr comes and goes and this brother or this sister, they have not asked for forgiveness yet. That is why Imams of Ahl Bayt, they know our enemy. They are warning us. Warning, 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 warning. Imam says, La deena li musawwifin bitawbatih. He doesn't have, she doesn't have a religion. The one who postpones asking forgiveness to go. This person doesn't have any deen. Because deen is what? Aqeedah. Aqeedah has been what? Allah, meaning punishment, reward, heaven, hell, deviation. If I don't, I don't believe in this, of course, istighfar. No, I, I see this myself. Yeah, maybe two minus. It's only myself. I have a lot of tens. I have to be, Hadith says, I have to hold myself harsher put account more than a business partner holding his business partner accountable. 
Some people have been to business. You know how every night, how much money you took, how much money I took. Excel sheet. Imam said you have to be harsher toward yourself. La deena. There is no deen. As much as he says, I believe. Action plan. We ready for it? Yes or no? Yes. Alhamdulillah. Much advancement. From the beginning of the night, it was only two people. Right now, four people. Alhamdulillah. It's, very, it's a blessing. Ready for action plan? Yes or no? We don't commit sin, we try not to commit sin, but as soon as we commit sin, we do astaghfar right away and we repent. Don't delay it. Because when I commit sin, hadith, iman is taken away from me. This is me and iman is in me. When I commit a sin, iman leaves me, go somewhere else. Until I do astaghfar, iman will not come back in me. If I die in this condition, I die as a believer or non-believer? Non-believer. Do you see the importance of istighfar? Why istighfar is a soldier of intellect and israr, insisting on my sin as the soldier of ignorance? What is tawbah? At tawbah too. At tawbah too, nadamun bil qalb. First stage of tawbah. Repentance. Tonight, I regret whatever I have done until now. I regret in my akhlaq, in my ahkam, in my aqidah, with other people. Tonight, I have to feel that regret in my heart. Like really, really feel embarrassed when we put Quran tonight in a'mal, we put Quran in our head when we read Dua Josh and Kabir, Ilahi al-Af, Ilahi al-Af. Let me feel that Shame standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has given me everything, how much I have sinned. I mean, feel that. If tears come down, you are connected. Number one, tawbatu, nadamun bil qalb. Second stage, wal istighfar bil lisan. Verbally, verbally saying, astaghfirullah, rabbi wa atubu ilayh. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. Wa atubu ilayh. Astaghfirullah alladhi la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum wa atubu ilayh. Verbally saying it. Wa tarkun bil jawarih. Make sure I regret by heart. Verbally I say and I stop whatever I was doing. If I was doing something with my eyes, I lower. If I was listening to something, tonight I make from now on, no more haram in the car. My playlist, I will go through a playlist, I will delete all the haram that is on my playlist. Haram is haram. I delete those people who have, fo uh, have followed on social media from the opposite gender every time that I opened mine. I saw them without hijab. I saw them doing something that was haram. I unfollow. Tarkul jawarah. Make sure I was eating haram. Alhamdulillah. None of us will eat haram. Alhamdulillah. Nobody says alhamdulillah. Like people eat haram. Say alhamdulillah. For those people who are out, if they were eating haram, okay, I stop haram. Every body part that I was committing sin with, I cleanse it, I purify it. These are the three stages of sin. And the last, وَإِضْمَارٌ أَنْ لَا يَعُودٌ And I make a decision tonight. Oh Allah, please, I know I ask on this side for a good wife. On this side, I ask for a good husband. I'm asking for wealth, health. I'm asking for this, this, this. Oh Allah, please help me, my shaitan, my nafs. Oh Allah, please do something. I really do not want to commit sin. If it's not your hand in my life, I don't know what to do. Ask Allah. Ask that I want your help, Allah. I'm surrounded with sins. There is enemy within. I don't know where to go, Allah. I need your help. And if Allah didn't help you, say, so Allah, I ask you, you didn't help. I wanted you, but you didn't help. And I've done something about it. Prophet Yusuf, in the presence of sin, seven doors closed. Zulaikha comes. I'm ready for you. Zulaikha. What does he say? Ma'adallah. He seeks refuge in Allah. Allah, help me. Okay, I'm sitting here, Allah. Can you do something to make me disappear from here to go there? No. I say, Allah, help me, and I will run toward the door that I know it's locked. 
But since I seek refuge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one door after one after one after one will open and I will be away from sin. When we get in the presence of sin, if we don't get ourselves away, we have two enemies, shaitan, nafs, they will pull us. Do not put yourself in the presence of sin. Stay away, far, far away from it. What happens when a person asks for forgiveness and makes a decision that I will not sin anymore? And Abi Ja'far, Imam al-Baqir alayhi salam, قال, سمعته يقول, التائب من الذنب كمن لا ذنب له. The one who returns to Allah from his or her sin as if they have not committed any sin. How much Allah loves us. You'll be surprised tonight and tomorrow about the mercy of Allah and how much Allah wants us back. He created us for heaven, but I take myself. You've seen sometimes you, younger kids, you're holding their hand. You're trying to cross the street, for example. The small kid, but they just want to jump up and down, jump up and down here and there. You hold their hand tight. This is dangerous. Allah is holding our hand. I want you. I sent you prophet. I sent you imams. I sent you Quran. They're holding your hand. Hold them. We just said, leave it, leave it. No, no, I don't want this. I don't want this. I got it. I got it on my own. We don't get it on our own. We don't. At-ta'ibu min al-dhanb, the one who returns to Allah from his sin, kaman la dhanb lah. However, wal-muqimu ala al-dhanb wa huwa mustaghfirun. The one who continuously, I do istighfar from my hijab because my hijab is not proper, but I still have the same thing. Kal-mustahzi. They're mocking Allah. As a joke, two people were standing in a bus. Every time a sister would walk into the bus, one of the bro brothers would look and he would say, Astaghfirullah Rabbi wa atubu One, Astaghfirullah Rabbi wa atubu Two, Astaghfirullah Rabbi wa atubu Five, Astaghfirullah Rabbi. He would see and he would do Astaghfar. After a while, he was not paying attention. He was looking somewhere. Another girl walked in. He did the other ones, he did another Astaghfirullah walked into the door also. I do Astaghfar and I keep committing the sin. Imam says, if you do that, you're mocking. I know it. Intentionally, I'm committing sin. Allah will forgive me. Let me do it again. Imam said, you're making fun of me. What is this? Should we lose hope still? No, we should not. But I should not. There will come a time. Brothers and sisters, we see it within history. There will come a time for the person who insists on their sin and they see the truth, they see the haq, they insist Allah will take the tawfiq of them asking istighfar. There is no more time for them to do istighfar. Allah gives us chances, 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 million. But when I keep denying, 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 Allah says what? Allah will seal the heart and the ears and the eyes. There is no benefit to this person. They will not have tawfiq of asking istighfar. Again, that is why when I said at the beginning, be appreciative that you are here tonight, Allah is giving you the tawfiq for istighfar. Allah wants to forgive you. He brought you here. You could be somewhere else. You could have said, like other people who couldn't make it, inshallah, they're watching online. Well, you know, I was busy, Shaykh, today. I was tired, came back from home, wanted to spend time with family, whatever it is. We give him the benefit of doubt. But you came to listen to Quran, a hadith of Ahl Bayt. You came to put this Quran on your head and say, Ba'aliyan, Ba'aliyan, Ba'aliyan. Oh Allah, forgive our sin. Be appreciative. Take advantage of every minute of tonight. What to do in order for Allah to forgive us? One, istighfar, with its three stages, four stages that we talked about. Let's go to Quran. We need to befriend Quran and Ahl Bayt, brothers and sisters, more. We need to see Quran from this perspective that has guidance for everything that I do. Every question that I have, the answers in the Quran and the teachings of Ahl Bayt. Chapter three. Verse 31, Allah says, قُلْ 
أن كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله ويغفر يغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم say oh رسول الله if you love Allah then follow me Allah will love you and forgive you your sins and Allah is all forgiving all merciful if we love Allah we must do a tabah obedience to Rasulullah when we obey Rasulullah we obey Ahlul Bayt alayhum salam Allah will love us and because of this obedience to Ahlul Bayt and Rasulullah يغفر لكم ذنوبكم Allah will forgive my sin what does it mean obedience what does it mean obedience in ahkam obedience in aqidah obedience in akhlaq obedience age of marriage obedience dowry obedience wedding obedience the way i dress obedience the way i treat my husband and wife and my parents all this obedience i have everyday reels comes out of my lectures about dowry people are going crazy i knew that as soon as my tech guy posted it i told my son this is going to go people are going to go crazy on this because rasulullah have said the best of the woman to ask lower dowry Rasulullah said, Rasulullah, I obey you in salah. You can see it it's exactly. I'm saying what I said. It's real. I accept your salah fasting, but my haq is to accept, to ask highest dowry, obedience. And I go to brothers, why don't you get married, brothers? Sheikh, who has money to get married? Age of marriage. Why we are delaying marriage? Why? Who told us? Quran told us to delay marriage. Ahl al-Bayt told us to delay marriage. Bring me one hadith that Ahl al-Bayt said to delay marriage. Bring it. One hadith. I will come online and I will go live amongst thousands of people who I follow. I say, people, I made a mistake. I said, people, to get married young, I was mistaken. This hadith says otherwise. So why do we have so many issues in marriage? Why? You're still too young. You still don't have six figures in your account. You still don't have a million dollar house. You still don't have a car. You still don't have a degree. I don't understand it. Brother comes to me. These are pain. These are pain that I have. And I don't know what to do with it. Only thing I can do is just talk. That's the only thing. Try, convince. Brother comes to me and said, I have this girl. I'm interested. Can you talk to her parents? Sure. I brought the parents to my, you have to do something about time in Canada. It goes so fast. This is not accepted. It's about to finish. I came to, I brought the parents. I said, this brother, I know of him, 23 years old. MashaAllah, religious and akhlaq. What Rasulullah said, as a father, I have a daughter. If a boy comes and asks my daughter's hand, if I like his morality and his akhlaq, Rasulullah said, if your daughter also accepted, give your daughter. I told him, I know this and I vouch for him. He has good akhlaq and good morality. You know what they ask? They said, does he have PhD or not? I ignored them. I said, I, I literally, intention, I ignored them. I told them, he has good morality, good akhlaq, and deen. I know him. He has a bachelor right now. Is he planning to get his PhD? I didn't say anything. My wife, may Allah give her long life and patience. She bears me a lot. May Allah give her long life. All this frustration when I come home. I just want to get something and just scream. Just scream. There's been a lot of times. I just want to, another, not this is one, not once, twice, 
I know it says four minutes. Let me see. See? Surprise. Al Mul Ghaib. I have four minutes. I know. After I tried to convince them, convince them, convince them, they said, okay, right now you can't talk with our daughter. So Alhamdulillah, I finished one stage. Let me go to the next stage. Half Khan Rostam. I called the sister, Salam Alaikum, Alaikum Assalam, and I was in Michigan calling her because she's getting her PhD. Salam Alaikum, Alaikum Assalam. I talked with your parents, I got the permission. Right now, I'm talking to you. Do you want me to introduce you to one another? You can come to my office, see one another. Does he have PhD? Is he planning to get his PhD? I don't know, I don't know. Let me call, I called the father, I called the son. He said, well, I, I got, after I got my bachelor, my father said, how about you go and work so you can get some experience? And then you might do masters if you need it, why not? She said, no. This happened three years ago. She's 25 then. Right now she's 28. She's not married yet. Delaying marriage for what? For what? Dunya? For what we're delaying marriage? Why? Another person came to me. Three minutes. He begged me. He's like, I, I'm telling my father I want to get married. But he, doesn't, he tells me, you have to establish yourself. Then we go. Because on this side, the mother comes. Let me see your portfolio. Two PhDs, one master's, BH, bachelor, okay, house, not bad, at least 3,000 square feet, okay, not bad, car, this range. Believe it or not, these are scenarios that I live. I told his father, I told him, I'm going to talk with your father. I told his father, I've never begged people. Never. I beg you. Your son says he's committing haram. I'm begging you. No, he must wait. I went and I told the son, I told him, you don't need your dad permission. Habibi, go get married. Forget about your father. Love him, respect him. You're committing haram. As a parent, as a parent, if you delay your girls' and boys' marriage because of education, sisters, you're denying it because of, I want to finish education. Everything, every sin as a parent that your kids commit because of you hurling their marriage, you as a parent will get the sin also. Me saying, no, hadith, who am I? Obey me. Rasulullah said, young marriage. No, that was back in the days in Middle East. The teachings of Islam is good for Middle East 1400 years ago. We lived during a life, an era of AI and technology. Sheikh, advance. Habibi, go advance. You go you and I go do mine. I don't have anything. My time is finished. We obey Allah, we obey Rasulullah, we obey Ahlul Bayt in every aspect of our life, our life becomes beautiful. If not, sometimes boys argue with me. Still 57, hasn't been 58. Boys argue with me. Shaykh, I don't want to get married. You know this, this, this. I tell him, Habibi, I already have a wife. I'm telling it for you. There is no benefit for me for you to get married. Don't get married. Like I care. The only thing I care is about the thawab. Allah has sent me. I have a responsibility on my shoulder from Quran and Ahl Bayt to educate. Sisters, get married. You don't want to get married? Don't get married. I don't care. I'm going to go home and I have a wife myself. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Let's recite the loud salawat. Allahumma ajjil li waliyik al-faraj. Allahumma ajjil li waliyik al-faraj. اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج all of us together بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم كن لوليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه Everybody ما شاء الله وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا 
حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه في طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات رحم الله من قرأ سورة المباركة الفاتحة مع الصلوات اطلاعیه داریم از بخش پارکینگ جامعه از مالک موتر کورولای بلک کلر یا رنگ سیاه به شماره دی بی سی پی 557 موتر کورولای رنگ سیاه دی بی سی پی 557 سیمانه خواهش میکنیم که هر چیزو تر موترشان ها موف کنن از خواهرای محترم هم سیمان ها خواهش میکنیم تشریف داشته باشند در صورت امکان جا میتونن برای نماز از سالون مردا استفاده کنند تشکر آماده هستیم؟ آقای خداوار میخواییم بتر بفرمین سبحان الله والحمد لله بلا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله أشهد أن أشهد أن أديان غدي الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة Hallelujah. 
الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله إن الله وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُسَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا سَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ فَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا استغفر الله ربي وأتوب إليه الله أكبر الله أكبر اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمدا رسول الله اشهد ان محمدا رسول الله اشهد ان امير المؤمنين عليا ولي الله اشهد ان امير المؤمنين عليا وفاطمه الزهراء واولادهم المعصومين بالحق حجج الله حي على الصلاه حي على الصلاه حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح حي على خير العمل حي على خير العمل قد قامت الصلاه قد قامت الصلاه الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصلي لربك وانحر إن شانك هو الأبتار الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده الله أكبر بحول الله وقوته يقوم وأقعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد كذلك الله رب اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار بحق محمد وآله الأطهار وعجل في فرج مولانا صاحب العصر والزمان الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده الله أكبر الحمد لله 
وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد حول الله وقوته أقوم وأقعد سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي على على وبحمده الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي على على وبحمده الله أكبر الحمد لله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله 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 إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما تا اتای و دتا قبول باشه یک بار دیگه باز یادآوری میکنم که نماز عید در دو وقت ادا میشه یکی ساعت 8 صبح و یکی ساعت 10 صبح برادرها و خواهرایی که دورتر از اینجا زندگی میکنن بهتر است برم ساعت 8 بجهش برسانن شاید ترافیک گیرشان نکنه ولی بر ساعت 10 شاید به ترافیک بند بانن و نرسن و ما کوشش میکنیم که نماز از سر وقتی که 8 بجه میگیم عشق بجا شروع کنیم و ساعت ده که میگیم ده شروع میکنیم سلوات ختم کنیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم یا علی یا عظیم یا غفور یا رحیم انت رب العظیم الذی لیس عیسا که مثلی شیم و هو السمیع البسیر وهذا شهر عظمته وكرمته وشرفته وفضلته على الشهور وهو شهر الذي فرق صيامه عليه وهو شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان وجعلت فيه ليلة القدر وجعلته خيرا من ألف شهر فيا ظلمني ولا يمن عليك من علي بفكاك رقبتي من النار في من تمن عليه وادخلنا الجنة برحمتك يا رحمة الراحمين استغفر الله ربي وأتوب إليه الله أكبر الله أكبر شهد أن لا إله إلا الله شهد أن لا إله إلا الله شهد أن محمدا رسول الله شهد أن محمدا رسول الله شهد أن أمير المؤمنين عليا ولي الله شهد أن أمير المؤمنين عليا وفاطمة الزهراء وأولادهم المعصومين بالحق حجج الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح 
حي على خير العمل حي على خير العمل قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي العلا وبحمده الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي العلا وبحمده الله أكبر بحول الله وقوته يقوم وأقعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد كذلك الله رب اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد اللهم كن لوليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه في طويلا الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي على علا وبحمده الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي على علا وبحمده الله أكبر الحمد لله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد حول الله وقوته أقوم وأقعد الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي العلا وبحمده الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي العلا وبحمده الله أكبر بحول الله وقوته يقوم وأقعد سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي على علا وبحمده الله أكبر الله أكبر 
Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Wa Bihamdih Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillah Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Wahdahu la sharika lah Wa ashadu anna muhammadan Abduhu wa rasuluh Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali muhammad Assalamu alayka Ayyuhal nabiyu wa rahmatullahi Wa barakatuh السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين السلام عليكم رحمة الله وبركاته الله الله إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد اللهم صل على محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم ادخل على أهل القبور السرور اللهم أغني كل فقير اللهم أشبع كل جائر اللهم أكسو كل عريان اللهم أقضي دين كل مدين اللهم فرج عن كل مكروب اللهم رد كل غريب اللهم فك كل أسير اللهم أصلح كل فاسد من أمور المسلمين اللهم أشفى كل مريض اللهم صد فقرنا بغناك اللهم غير السوء حالنا بحسن حالك اللهم اقض عنا الدين واغننا من الفاق إنك على كل شيء قدير هجيل فرج يا أيمة وزمان صلوات بلان اللهم عجل غليك الفرج السلام عليك يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا نبي الله السلام عليك يا أمير المؤمنين السلام عليك يا خديجة الكبرى السلام عليك يا فاطمة الزهراء السلام عليك الحسن والحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والحجة الله أبا صالح السلام عليك يا أبا الفضل العباس يا ابن أمير المؤمنين يا ابن أم البنين السلام عليك يا زينب الكبرى بنت علي مرتزا بنت فاطمة الزهراء السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته نصار روح مطارع أمير المؤمنان علي بن عبي طالب عليه السلام صلوات الله عليه وسلم